Hello and welcome once again to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things, all support to the channel is very much appreciated. In this video we are taking a look at the very awesome Diamond Select Lord of the Rings waves of figures. So Diamond Select have released a number of series uh, for Lord of the Rings to kind of commemorate the movies that were and there is a builder figure in these boxes which is a builder figure Sauron which is quite cool so in this particular video we're going to look at Frodo so we get the kind of chest piece of Sauron and what looks to be his cape as well and of course the little Frodo figure as well so let's just open this up now I'm just going to do this in real time just so that we can uh, see exactly how they look the sculpting on these figures is really awesome that's one thing to definitely say for diamond select figures and I've said this before, in regards to articulation, Diamond Select figures don't have the best articulation in comparison to some of the other action figures out there, but they make up for it in the sculpting, the detail, and the paintwork. So you have Frodo, you have his little sword as well, and you have his little uh, potion bottle as well. It's not his potion bottle, is it? It's the, the bottle of light. Um, I can't remember the exact name of it. Is it the Fiel? Fiel of... Galadriel or something. I probably butchered that but essentially it was a gift from the Elf Queen if I remember rightly but it was light uh, within a bottle that allows him to use it in dark places and of course he does use it throughout the film um, but that's quite a nice little accessory to have so I'm just going to kind of put that there in his hand and then he's got his little sword as well. Now it's a quite a delicate little accessory. It doesn't hold it overly well but in regards to kind of posing um, and displaying the figure he holds it absolutely fine so I'd probably display him holding his sword as well you have got a, a sheath here that you can put the sword away in um, yeah overall he's not a bad figure at all not a bad figure not a huge amount of accessories you have the uh, the bottle of light and you have the sword and of course you have the builder figure parts for Sauron but we'll look at the Sauron figure in another video but yeah that's essentially it so I think he's a key character to have if you're collecting these figures and you want to have a Lord of the Rings display then obviously you've got to have a Frodo Baggins in there because he's quite pivotal to the actual um, to the trilogy he's he's obviously he's not the main character um, but as far as the action figure goes and as far as the the contents of the box go he doesn't come with a huge amount um, the actual builder figure though looks immense it looks absolutely incredible uh, the sculpting on it is unreal to be uh, to be honest with you and if you look at this as the chest piece you can imagine just how big this figure is going to be in comparison to the other figures in the the series now diamond select tend to do series of about two or three figures at a time um, I can't remember which series this one is but I've got pretty much all of them now so yeah it's gonna be quite cool and the good thing is as well as the orcs and things like that you can army build because they come with alternate heads and stuff like that but yeah Frodo Baggins yeah it's pretty cool if you're a fan of the films you're a fan of the uh, the franchise then this is definitely worth picking up the sculpting and the detail on the paintwork is absolutely phenomenal it's really really good it definitely looks like uh, the character in the movie and yeah I mean there's not a huge amount more I can say about that because there isn't a huge amount in the box um, but yeah do check out my channel because I'm going to take a look at all of the figures released by Diamond Select in regards to the Lord of the Rings trilogy there are so many characters that they could touch upon these these series could go on for absolutely ages because there are so many characters across the movies what they've done is they've kind of done the main fellowship I should say main fellowship a couple of the bad guys um, but I could imagine that they would go on with this for quite some time they could really ride this one out and do so many figures it could actually end up being a really awesome looking display um, but yeah, Frodo, definitely worth picking up. Let's just have a look at him with the rest of the figures. So here's all of the other ones that I've got from the series, including the builder figure there at the back. Um, but do check out my channel because I'll take a look at all of them individually on my page. Um, and as you can see, they just look absolutely awesome. The sculpting, the details, the, the paintwork, it just looks really cool together. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. And do check out the rest of the videos that... I do take a look at these videos, uh, these figures, sorry. But yeah, Lord of the Rings. Did not think I'd be getting a Lord of the Rings collection this long after the movies. But yeah, I'm very excited about this. Very excited indeed. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.